keep yourselves in the love of God. While it is true that as far as our security is concerned, we are all on equal footing, yet some Christians dwell closer to the Lord than others. Now, let me say very clearly, God doesn't have any favorites. But he does have intimates. He has those who make themselves available to him. Why, some of us are in such a busy tither, running around, doing this, doing that, that we never take the time just to come into his presence to let him love us. Just for him to whisper into our hearts by his Spirit those little endearments that he loves to tell us. To spend time there enjoying him alone, without all the busyness, without the business of the day, the order of the day, without dealing with the big issues, just enjoying him. For after all, that's why he saved us, you know. He didn't need us to work in his company. He, he saved us because he loved us. And he wants us to love him in return. Now, when he has our love, he'll have our service too. But primarily, he saved us just to love us. One of the great poets of the Christian heritage was Gerhard Terstegen. He wrote, Allured into the desert with God alone, apart. Their spirit meeteth spirit, there speaketh heart to heart. Far, far on the untrodden shore, God's secret place I find. Alone I pass the golden door, all others left behind. We are invited into the secret place, into the sanctuary alone. For each of us has equal access into the presence of God. We don't have to wait in line. We don't have to take a number. We don't have to uh, know a certain amount. We can't blame our assembly or our elders or our upbringing or our parents or our circumstances. We can all come. For the Lord Jesus said, I thank thee, O Father, thou hast not revealed these things to the wise and prudent, but unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. And so we're all welcome there. And it's only those who make themselves available for any of the twelve apostles could have leaned on the breast of the Lord Jesus. John made sure he was there. He made sure he was there at the cross when the Lord Jesus was scanning the audience looking for someone to whom he could entrust the, the one on earth who was dearest to his heart. And John was there. And he said, John, now this is your mother. You take her home. Well, the other disciples could have been there. But they weren't there. And to each, the Lord Jesus had a special care and a special love. He loved them all. But John could write, I'm the disciple whom Jesus loved. Why? Didn't he love them all? Sure he did. But John made himself available. He was there so that he could just enjoy the love of the Lord Jesus. Oh, don't be too busy, too preoccupied with other things. Keep yourselves in the love of God.